Google just released BARD, their answer to ChatGPT and the new Bing AI. How well does it compare to what Microsoft and OpenAI just announced? Let's find out. Alright, so we have here the BARD announcement. If you remember, the CEO of Google originally asked their 80,000 plus employees to stress test BARD, but now they're asking the public to give feedback on their systems, starting with the US and then to the UK. All right, let's see how BARD compares to Bing AI and ChatGPT. So I have here BARD open. Looks like a very familiar user interface. I have a few actual prompts that uh, I'm particularly interested in. So let's see what BARD's able to come up with. So first one is something that I actually have coming up um, is plan me a one day itinerary for Walt Disney World and break it down hour by hour. All right, so a couple things with this prompt is I'm not gonna put down Orlando, Florida because I want the AI to be able to figure this out themselves or to prompt me for more information if needed. So let's see what happens. Okay, so a couple of things is that unlike Bing or ChatGPT, it gives the answer all at once instead of streaming it. So that's one difference that I see. Let's see, here's a possible one day itinerary for Walt Disney World, broken down hour by hour. 7 a.m. arrive at Magic Kingdom, purchase tickets, head to the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, ride the Jungle Cruise, ride Pirates of the Caribbean. Customize fit your needs. For example, if you are interested in meeting characters, you can add meet and greet your scouts. If you are interested in seeing shows, you can add parades and fireworks shows. Okay, here's some tips for planning. So they gave me an itinerary and also gave me tips for planning it. Interesting, okay. Let's take that same query and paste it into Bing AI. I'll have it be creative first. So one difference between the two from the get-go is that Bing gives you three different options for how you want the conversation style to go. One's creative, balanced, and precise. And the other apparent thing is that Bing will stream the messages coming in and allow you to stop responding. Whereas as we saw with Google's, it just gives it all at once. Instead of giving me the direct itinerary, Bing AI is asking to help me decide which park to actually visit first. Because apparently Walt Disney World incorporates several different parks, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom. So, okay, that's interesting. Let's see how this looks in ChatGPT. So ChatGPT only has one direct option. There's no there's no way to set a style directly. And another thing to note is that it's actually, yeah, generating this, generating an actual itinerary and streaming the results. So one interesting thing is that it looks like, unlike Bing, ChatGPT is saying I should arrive, it's making an assumption that I'm going to Magic Kingdom. So maybe to make this fair, so let's ask Bing AI to make me and itinerary for Magic Kingdom. So one thing that's also very apparent is that even in this first result is that Bing will actually cite its sources. And at least in this query, Google is just making a statement. Same with ChatGPT also. So from a user perspective, having these sort of links allows me to at least click through if I wanna find out more. But interesting, okay. so. In this itinerary, it assumes that I'm not using Genie Plus or Lightning Lanes, which is something that isn't called out here. And yeah, same thing. This is not called out here either. So overall, I would say if I were to just grade these three, I would probably give the nod to Bing, uh, just because it had more comprehensive information. It it's able to cite its sources and yeah, I, you know, I could probably ask it to make this an hour by hour breakdown schedule. And there you go. Yeah. I mean, I'm able to use the information that it has, see the sources that it's citing, then be able to just go directly and see what these results are. So. Overall, again, my vote here would be Bing AI, but leave a comment below if you think otherwise. All right, so for this next test, let's see if Bard, Bing, or ChatGPT can actually do something a little bit more complex. 
So I'm going to ask it to draw me the family tree of Harry Potter using a specific sort of uh, syntax. The syntax is called Mermaid Markdown. Let's run it on each of these. All right, so first starting with ChatGPT, even though it says it can't provide me with Mermaid Markdown, it still gave me something here. And let's see if I could just use it. So I'm going to copy this code and go to a Mermaid Markdown online viewer. And unfortunately, this is an error. Well, let's see if I get rid of some of these comments. Oh, well, there you go. And this looks to be a pretty decent family tree of Harry Potter. And even though I didn't ask if uh, the Weasley family, not bad. Let's see what Bing AI came up. So just from looking at it, it looks quite complex, but let's see if this will actually render. So unfortunately here, even though it's more complex, it looks like it's, there's not a, it doesn't work just purely copy paste, uh, something's going on. But uh, let's take a look at this. Okay, so just from the quick survey between these three, uh, in this run in particular, only ChatGPT gave me an appropriate uh, mermaid markdown format uh, that I could just directly paste and, and view. So the winner to this one goes to ChatGPT. All right. So for this next example, all right, so for this next example, I'm gonna ask uh, each of these tools to do some coding. And I'm gonna ask it to write some Python code that can simulate the game Blackjack. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so let's just take this direct code, copy paste it, uh, and run it through a online Python interpreter. So here we go. Let's just click run. What do you want to do? Well, I don't know. I, uh, well, let's see. I'm going to hit. Oh, un unbound local error so unfortunately this code doesn't work straight out of the box that's unfortunate well let's see how chat gpt does let's run this one welcome to blackjack your hand a6 dealer up card 10 do you want to hit or stand a6 uh i'm gonna stand dealer hand 10-9 Oh, I guess the dealer won. Well, do I want to play again? Yes. Welcome to Blackjack, your hand. 10-8, dealer up card. Yes, I'm going to stand for this one. Dealer hand. Oh, dealer busted. Do you want to play again? Yes. Welcome to Blackjack, your hand. Jack 5, dealer up card. 8, do you want to hit? I'm going to hit. Oh, I just busted. Dealer won. Well, ChatGPT actually gave me a functioning game. It uh, seems to obey the rules of blackjack, um, and it just works. Not bad. Let's now look at Bing. So copy and pasting. Well, unfortunately, copy pasting it directly from Bing doesn't work. So in this round, we'll give it to ChatGPT. 
All right, so in this next test, we're going to see how these three search engines compare uh, using something that requires up-to-date knowledge. Uh, we're going to use the example of Silicon Valley Bank, uh, which if you're interested, I did a breakdown of what happened uh, in, a, in a previous video. Check out the description to, to see the link to that. So I'm going to ask it to explain to me what happened the past two weeks at Silicon Valley Bank. Provide as much detail as possible. And let's see what each of these, how these will do. All right, so let's start with ChatGPT. So as expected, um, and OpenAI has made this disclaimer known that ChatGPT was only trained on data as of 2021. So the fall of Silicon Valley Bank would not be in its training set. So the fact that it's saying that it's not able to provide uh, up-to-date events on this is you know, to be expected. But let's see how Google and uh, Bing do. So Bing has not only GPT-4 powering the AI response, but it also has access to the index, the Bing index, so that it has theoretically up-to-date knowledge of things that have happened. So if we look at this response, Silicon Valley Bank on March 10th, 2023 collapsed after losing 1.8 billion. And it just provides overall quite a lot of detail and several sources to, to back it up. So we can click on the link and see where it's referencing its data. So overall, this seems like a pretty good response. But let's take a look at Google's response. So if we look at it, uh, there are several things here that, at least in this res direct response, don't seem correct. Um, we can just take a look at uh, SVB stock. It wasn't until March that the price actually dropped. So the fact that Bard is saying that SVB stock price plunged more than 50% in January, that's completely wrong. So we have here an example of hallucination where uh, Bard is confidently reporting that it knows something, but for whatever reason, it's not able to give a, a the actual correct result. This is surprising because you would think Google, you know, given that they've indexed the web, they are the premier search engine for anything up to date. Um, it should have this information like there. So surprising to see that Bard uh, is not is not up to date. So for this for this uh, test, I, you know. For sure, give it to, to Bing. It's given more, more accurate responses. Provides citations to sources, which uh, again here, Bard does not. So overall as a product, Bing. All right, so what are the takeaways? Well, in these just few tests, we see that uh, each of these models kind of both succeed and struggle in their own ways. I think if I were to just kind of give a quick opinion, I'd say, Bing seems to be a more full-featured product. Uh, the fact that it has citations, it's able to um, incorporate modern uh, or recent knowledge, recent events into its response, it certainly does provide a more trustworthy and added value to the overall experience. Although ChatGPT has actually proven to be a bit more creative or at least less maybe restrained in being able to generate uh, responses. And Bard overall, I mean, I think it shows some promise, but it's probably quite early on and Google has to do a lot more improvements and fine tuning to make sure that it's up to par. So all these are very early experiences and I'm sure the technology will keep evolving, but super interesting to see. The AI wars are certainly heating up. Well, if you like more content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Here's Alex, your resident chaos coordinator.